What is up guys, welcome back. So I've been doing a lot of series lately. I think the majority of my videos on the channel are all series based, like the you know, Extreme Free to Play, the um, Spotlight, the reviews, the Daily Arena, the Daily Updates. Um, you know, most of the stuff I do on this channel are series based. And although that's really good, it helps me produce like consistent content. Um, I, I still like to take some time sometimes to make videos that are not part of a series. So that's what we're, we're going to do today. We're going to do something a little bit different. Um, this is a topic I talked about before, but I haven't really went into it like in depth. Uh, this is uh, hopefully I'll cover everything in this video today, and hopefully you guys can see things from um, you know just uh, share my share my insight after this 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 video. So the main topic that I wanted to talk about is the difference between 3 star monsters and 4 star and 5 star monsters within the game. Um, a lot of people might have noticed, like, if you play any sort of monster collecting game, like, whether it be, you know, this game, whether it be something like Summoner's War or um, just anything that has to do with, like, collecting monsters or, like, card collecting games, um, you'll most likely favor the monsters that are rare. Um, and in this case, it's the five, like the Nat Fives or the Nat Fours. You're you're more likely, like, if you all of a sudden you pull Nat Five, you're probably like I think 90% of the players are probably going to raise that Nat Nat Five, just no questions asked, you know, because of the rarity of the monster. Um, but that isn't always beneficial for you, and not always beneficial for your team. Like this is something I've been doing for a very, very long time. Like I used to do this for Summoners War. Uh, I give give advice on what people should do with their their box. I think in this game is a little bit more straightforward because there's not. Um, I guess they haven't introduced that many monsters yet. Eventually they will. But for now, there everything is um, everything is pretty usable. Like there's not a lot of. Uh, you know, I would say like you know, cookie cutter monsters. There's no, there's no cookie cutter monster on, unless like you know, you pulled like the water Persephone or some shit like that. Then she's, she's OP for everything. Um, but I'll, what I mean to say is, there's no, there's no monster that uh, or no team that you absolutely have to raise to clear a certain floor of a dungeon. At least so far, like for the for the for the golems, um, I've got through most of it, most of it, and I don't think you absolutely need to raise a certain type or a certain um, you know a certain team in order to clear anything you can basically do it there's a lot of strategies on what you can do like you know for example for if you're trying to clear a b9 you know you can you can basically uh, go get through it survive through it with like two healers like I did before when I first started farming or you can run monsters that have like self sustain or you can run a bunch of like fire monsters that have sap and a lot of sustain so you can like sap through the boss and stuff like that um, you know there's there's various strategies to to clearing the different floors and I think the game did really well in terms of just bringing variety and allowing players to use anything they really want to um, in the game obviously there's gonna be like optimal choices like there's gonna be monsters that you definitely should raise and um, it's going to help you in just a lot of a lot of floors and different things, but most of the time it's it's not really limited to that. You can pretty much use uh, whatever you want, you know, most of the time. So the the main thing about three stars and four star, five stars, um, actually the the grade of any monster, like from one star to five star, um, of, of their original grade, is the first of all their their stats are going to be different. Um, Monsters that are natural five stars will tend to have better stats compared to monsters that are like you know natural three stars. Um, that's just kind of the way the game works. Like it just gives the it gives the natural five stars a little bit more of an advantage. Um, and also the activation rates of their skills are also higher for the the natural five stars. So for example, uh, let's I don't know let's yeah let's just take the Take the uh, Fire Arthur for example, like his stun has a 100% chance to land. Like you will not find a 3 star monster that has a 100% stun. Um, and that's mainly because of his rarity, like it's just, you know, they, they give they an give, uh, advantage to some monsters that have like, higher rarity. I think this is a, probably a more obvious um, scenario. This is the Fire, or, or the Water, water Miho, um, I have her at Evo 3. She has a sap. 
that has a 60%, she has a 60% chance on her first skill to land one sap, and a 60% chance to learn to land a, another uh, AoE sap for two turns. Um, the Water Yuki, however, has a 60% chance to land um, two saps for one turn, and she also has a 60% chance on her AoE to land two saps for two turns. She has double the sap potential of the of of the uh, Miho. But she's, you know, and she's a natural four star, and she's she's a natural three star. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you should always raise. Like I think in this case, it's probably better to use her um, because she's literally like has double the chance of of her. Um, but in a lot of cases, this might not be the most important factor in choosing um, which monster to use. I think a lot of people like, you know, especially newer players when they when they comment and ask me like, "Hey, I have these monsters. Like, can you can you help me and um, you know, what should I build?" Um and they'll say stuff like, "Hey, I summon I summon this monster or this monster is it good? You know, how should I build that monster?" And I I honestly don't think you should focus on the monsters that you summon. Like, I mean, I I do. Like, it's just um, it's just how I like to play, but it's also partly due to I have some of the resources to make it work. And also some of these monsters are like really, really good. Like the Dark Cupid's like really, really OP. Um, and like even even if I have the Water Nightmare at Evo, like at Evo 1, she's still very, very strong in the arena. Um, but it's not always beneficial to raise monsters that are 4 stars or 5 stars compared to 3 star monsters and that's because of the evolution system within the game. Um, the evolution system kind of balances that out. Obviously if you have a 5 star monster that you can raise to evil 3, it's going to be a lot stronger than an evil 3 3 star monster. But it's going to be extremely hard, like if I wanted to raise another this fire arthur to, to um, evil 3, I will need to like, you know, first of all if I want to raise him to evil 2, I will need 3 gleams to do that. And that's like basically three weeks of playing um, in the arena. Um, obviously, you can use the holy gleams, but that's kind of a waste. You know, nobody would really do that. So it's basically like three weeks to to actually be able to do it. And if you if I want to make an evil three, I will need four Arthur's. I, I will need four copies of Arthur's, and I will need twelve gleams. Oh wait, it's my math right? Yeah, I'll, I'll need twelve. Yes, I will need 12 gleams. All right, my my math is good. Um, a, a total of 12 gleams in order to for me to be able to do that, and that's 12 weeks in the arena. Um, yeah, that's that's like three months. That's actually quite a long time, you know, to to actually in order to to be able to do that. Um, compared to raising a three-star monster to Evil Three, like. Especially monsters that are farmable, like the the Mihos or the Sirens or like anything that you can farm in the map, um, or monsters that you you are able to get from rebirthing, um, you can definitely get a lot of copies of those monsters as well. So, um, if you take a look at stats, like if you take a look at stats, for example, like this is a this is the base stats of an Evil Three um, Evil Three uh, Miho, and if you compare it to like if you compare it to an evil one monster uh, that that's a four star like it's really really easy for me to get the Miho to three stars like I'm basically guaranteed to be able to do it but if I want to raise the Yuki to two stars I will need to at least spend three weeks in the arena to um, to gleam her up and even at two stars her stats aren't even as good as a as a Miho um, I mean not two stars evil two um, even at evil two her stats I think her stats are slightly better. No wait, her stats are better. Yeah, her. S oh no, her base HP isn't isn't as high. But then I think I have some gems on them. Yeah, I definitely do have some gems on them. So, I, uh. Anyways, you're you're just gonna have to trust me, all right? The the stats of an evil three um three star monster are are around even with this with the stats. Usually, the stats of an evil three three star monster are better than the stats of an evil two four star monster. That's just kind of how how it really works. Um, but if you have a five star monster and you want to gleam it to evil two, it's gonna usually be have better stats than a three star monster. So it's not necessarily wrong to like raise all your five stars as long as they can work together well in a team. Um, 
but you, you you really should be careful when you're choosing to raise a certain four star versus a certain three star, especially when they have very very similar skills. One other thing I also noticed um, is is why another reason why um, I raised the monsters that I have raised right now. I didn't. I only raised the monsters that have a unique skill set. Like that's that cannot be replaced. Um, you know, in the example of the the fire R thirty, like he has a hundred percent chance to stun. Um, if I used any other three star, no other three star would be able to do this. And having this, like, will 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 be better than having like you know better stats. Um, like even if I had to sacrifice some stats, having a guaranteed one hundred percent stun is. Is definitely worth it. Um, the Dark Sea Star was a was a monster from Rebirth, so I was able to get her to Evil Three. This is a monster I kind of raised for fun. I didn't even raise her to Evil Evil Three, but her skill set is also very very unique. She's the only monster that has a hundred percent seal on her first skill. She's the only monster that actually no no there's another monster with a seal on his first skill, but it's uh, it's only seventy percent chance for three turn for two turns. Um, but yeah, basically all the monsters I've I've been using and raised so far are monsters that are that have um, complete completely unique skills. If I had to take a monster that um, that has you know a similar skill set, like it, for example, if I was if I was to choose a a healer just for the for the sake of healing, um, it probably would be most beneficial for me to just raise the Water Siren who I have already at Evil Three. If I just get her to you know to to evil three um, and also I can also get her as a variant that's also a very very important thing um, monsters that are farmable it's very easy for you to get them and and make them a variant compared to a four star monsters obviously four star variants are gonna be better but you know you're not guaranteed to be able to get a four star variant like it's actually pretty pretty rare for you to summon a four star variant I mean I summoned three so far and I've done a lot of packs like I'm, I'm by no means uh, free to play so it's like she's the she's probably the only monster I would have gotten as a free to play if if I did not buy any packs. Like basically she was from a pack I bought. She was from some packs that I bought. Um, so you know you're not always guaranteed to be able to get a variant skill, but it's very very easy. Like you know, it may it may seem hard, but if you just farm a map for like a day or two, you're definitely going to be able to get a three star um, variant of a certain monster that you want. So it's definitely not not that hard. Um, so in the case where I'm raising a healer, like you know, if it's just just for healing, I'm, maybe I should just raise the Water Siren instead because of her. You know, she she has a pretty decent skill set and she has um, you know the stats to be able to to match it. Um, but I, I chose a monster, different monster instead because he was different. He had shield and he also was also an HP aggressor, so I, so he be, he was really really strong for um, for the arena and stuff. And he's his shield really helped me in like E9 and stuff. So um, and also because of the element, like I, I I won't be able to use the water siren in B9 if I raised her instead of the Cupid. Um, so yeah, th that's another thing you maybe want to consider. But the point is, most of the time. It might be better for you to use three stars compared to four stars. Um, just you know, if you just look at their stats. And the only time you want to raise a four star over a three star um, that you can get to Evil Three is when either you can get that you can somehow get that four star to Evil Three. Obviously, like if you're really really far ahead, then you I don't know why you're watching this video. Um, <laughs> but I guess it's so helpful for you to watch this video because I, I tend to forget sometimes that. Um, a lot of times when I when I'm choosing a monster or when I'm trying to build a team, it might be more beneficial for me to to use a three star that I can get to Evil Three versus a four star where I have to use like work in the arena for three weeks in order to get the gleams um, to make it Evil Two. So yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. I think hopefully I was able to um, hopefully I was able to explain everything a little bit better. With that being said, I think I'm gonna start working on monsters that are that I know I can get to Evil Three and stuff. Um, what when I try to try to build my next team? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, um, and if you guys liked it, be sure to like it. If you guys didn't, then you can dislike it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.